mission today is to try and find out whether there's going to be items of value here for them. Um, they've been collecting for many years now and it's gotten obviously out of hand. Hopefully there's going to be enough value here for it to make sense for all the effort we're going to put in. But uh, more than anything, we're going to try very hard to come up with a good game plan to get them their house back. Um, I think I'm just about there. So once we're inside, we'll do a tour and see what there is and start putting a plan into place for getting this place cleaned up. Melissa has come with me today to help out and I guess we'll do, I don't know if we'll do any sorting today, but we'll have a look around and at least see what there is. So you ready for it? Yeah, I'm looking okay. forward to it. All right, let's go check it out. See, before we go in, I was noticing, I remember these used to be like, if you went to um, uh, the zoo or something and your kid was too, uh, too little, you could push them around in that. There's not that much for clutter on the outside of the house. A couple little things like an old store display, some sort of, I think that's for, um, that's if, cool. if it's a horse head, I think, but you grow a hedge or something through it, right? Ooh. Or vines. Okay, let's go in. There is a little bit of debris around the yard, but not terrible. Okay, sort of a back porch area here. You got all sorts of wicker baskets. Tonka fire truck. Some old wooden chairs. What's underneath here? Now we've been give, given permission to basically root around the house and anything like this, it's piled up. Everything's got to go. Everything has to go. This is the 1970s Fisher Price Airport. An old Tonka truck and it even has its uh, spare tire still on the back. There's piles of old Life magazines. Your dad would have liked that. Didn't your dad like... Was it Life magazine that your dad liked or was it uh, Reader's Digest? Reader's Digest. Oh, I think yeah. he'd like Life as well. Anytime we found stuff like that, Melissa's dad, Dave, would be interested. Oh, look, here's an old hall stand. Oak. Okay. And little, gold, little golden books. And, of course, old little golden books can be quite valuable and collectible. Okay, I'm seeing some good stuff on the surface so far, but we'll come back out here and we'll go, we'll look in the garage after. Let's go in the house first. Uh, do you want to grab the door? Sure. Okay. Okay, we're going to go up and to the right. Uh, hang on. I'm just going to get some lights on in here. So, more magazines in the little porch area here. And they said a lot of this antique furniture like this, uh, this is kind of an interesting little sideboard or shelf. It's got all these little pockets in here for filing. And it's almost like um, maybe a, a bureau shelf, almost. Something that would have been in an office. It's much different. Lots of ornate little work up there. Okay. There's artwork. I've asked the family to mark anything they might want to hang on to with tape. So if there's no tape on it, um, it can go. If there's tape on it, those are things that they want to keep. Uh, okay, let's see if there's some other light so we can see what else is happening in here. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Little die cast truck. I don't know what that would be meant to pick up. Model kits. Oh, look at this. Right on the shelf here. Do you see this, Melissa? Do you know what that is? I'm going to take it out very here. You hold it. I'm going to hand that to you. Okay, be careful because the top comes off. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Any guesses what that is? I know. It's a container? It's Yeah, it's Austrian. No surprise. <laughs> they like their creepy black forest kind of stuff in Germany and Austria. But if you flip it around, it's a, it looks like a gourd. That's actually um, uh, for tobacco. That's a humidor. 1800s Austrian uh, devil's face humidor. Really, really mm -hmm. neat piece. If we if we can, it was just on the shelf over there. For the time being, we'll just poke around and see what there is inside the house for now. And then we'll come back with the crew and we'll start sorting and organizing later. It looks like there's kind of a combination of antiques and collectibles. There's a phrenology head. You know, it's the science of, you know, what parts of your brain. You see the little head oh, right here. there? Yeah. yeah. Um, there are actually antique ones. There's a lot of replicas out there, though. But there's um, some jars of stuff. Oh, these are mid-century modern. Those are like your typical sort of uh, little statues that you would have had back in the 50s. They had lamps like that too, chalkware. Uh, what's in there? Animal vet equipment, little uh, barkeeper sets. 
buttons. Military buttons, maybe. Closures for cabinets and garage. Pez dispensers. But look, before we get too deep into this, look what we have to deal with. There are mountains and mountains and mountains of stuff. This is just the main floor here. But if we are finding some things that are somewhat collectible, this might end up being a good venture. I, I don't know just yet. I'm to try to find it. Okay. <sighs> I can see why this has been a problem getting around in because there's just little walkways really to kind of get, you can barely even get to the front door. Uh, but there is, you know, amongst all the, the clutter, the bones of the house actually look pretty decent. Like the walls are fairly clean. They're not all dusty. Like yeah. there is, you know, there is a little bit of dust going on up here. And that's, it's good that we're catching it now because another year or two and it would have gotten probably quite full. Snow plow model kits. Is there a light switch in here? Did that one over there do anything? No. The one on the wall? There's no light in here, I don't think. Okay, oh, there's, there's no the light, hang on. Corner. I'm new, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and turn the light on the camera. Okay, there's some new stuff. Little child's typewriter. I think that the owner of the house would go garage sailing or go to estate sales. And so who knows what's in here? It looks like they bought just a little bit of everything. And the intention was to resell these items at some point, but it just never happened. That's a, <laughs> these are kind of fun. You know what this is? Yeah, see, he's got his leg up like he's uh, marking his territory and that holds your door. That's an old Scotty Dog doorstop. Um, that looks like a chalet glass vase behind it or a similar sort of mid-century kind of vase. Hey, look, that clock. It's a Dalek from Doctor Who. And I can see there's price tags on here. Some things are from uh, Goodwill or Value Village, little statues. I remember we had Stop Thief when I was a kid. Look at all these old model kits or uh, board games and things. Do you ever have Stop Thief? No, I had Payday. Oh, you had Payday? So we're going to have to get a crew in here basically to sort. Well, we'll I'll have to come in on, on Wednesday, I guess, and start sorting. Nice little uh, inlaid box. And then I don't want to be packing this stuff twice. So anything that can go... To charity, we'll just take straight to charity. Anything that can go uh, for sale, we'll go for sale. And if there's anything that's garbage, it'll just go. We'll get a dump bin. This is a cool tin box. Yeah, that looks like a, a Poochie sort of design, actually. Um, really cool. There was a uh, airline back in the 60s, and they actually, the stewardesses had uh, flight uniforms that were in that sort of pattern. But the, I think, was it Antonio Pucci? I can never remember his name. But Pucci was a very famous sort of designer back in the day in that kind of has that sort of feel. It's probably not a poochie, but it, it's definitely got that uh, mod kind of vibe. Oh, look, there's the old Barbie oh, yeah. kit. What else is going on? I mean, there's so much stuff everywhere. I, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. I, I'm in these sort of situations often. Oh, look, there's another Fisher-Price house. I used to have that. We're going to be trying to build a house oh, pretty yeah, soon. We should just give this to the drafter and say, just build us the Fisher-Price house, but life-size. Concentration game. There's also, I have to be careful because there's little folk art statues in, mixed in here. Uh, coat racks, that's kind of a neat piece. That looks like a big, um, like an antique uh, bronze door knocker off of a, a big door that they have framed. Like an Asian uh, bronze door knocker. Okay, look, Mickey Mouse kick band. This is uh, quite a bit of stuff. Um, let's continue. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was standing right over here and I didn't even see there was an antique picture in a frame. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah, you bumped it with your foot. Did I? Yeah. This is an original. This isn't a print. I mean, it, it could be a copy of a, of a Dutch painter or... Let's see if I can move that. That's an original oil painting. Ah, find out there's like an actual Rembrandt or something in here. Is there a name on this? Uh, I think I got it. Oh, the name is a little hard to read. Something May? Uh, it looks like 
Okay. It looks Dutch. It does have the sort of umlauts over the... C-H-R-E-D? Um, Schroeder. Schroeder, may, maybe? Could be German. Interesting. Do you think we actually need to worry about that? <laughs> we should get one that says, Beware of Doug. I think that was a Far Side cartoon. Yeah, I think it was. You're right. Okay. There's a, uh, apparently a bedroom down the hall that we've got to look at clearing out too. We have the old metal lunch kit. Everyone needs a sugar daddy. <laughs> uh, okay. That's good sound advice. Hey, that looks like a Ninja Turtle mask. Yep. Can't remember who is this, Leonardo? I can't. Oh, I remember who Orange was, but it looks like a talking Ninja Turtle mask, or it does something. Kind of neat. Okay. And these piles of stuff just kind of continue all over the place. There's another painting there. Almost looks like Queen Elizabeth, doesn't it? If the Queen was out hunting <laughs> with a shotgun. She's got that sort of uh, regal look about her. Okay, there's another room here. Oh boy. Underneath that pile is a bed. And I can't even I can't even walk in here right now. So I can't get in there to to show you what there is, but look. Busy bee game from Marx. That's gotta be from the 50s. I would say. Little things that uh, you know a person thought was collectible. Look at the old flashlight. Look at this. That's cool. Yeah, it's like your 50s kind of flashlight. There's artwork, little bits of jewelry lying around. I think that once we start going through and emptying out these rooms, we'll have a few surprises. All the old suitcases. There's a duck head up there. Like an actual duck head? No. Oh. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Hey. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Very folk art. Um, okay, so we've got on the main floor... We can actually, we can walk in this hallway, so this isn't all that bad, and these look like pieces that they want to use. So far in this, uh, in the upstairs, it looks like just the living room and kitchen and this bedroom need some TLC. Let's go look in the basement and see what there is. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming. This is... You got the light? Yeah. Should we start just in this front entrance way? Um, or straight in? Sure, is there sort of a hallway down here? Um, the, like, a, the design of the house looks like it was renovated not that long ago. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. Oh, this is sort of statue? It has an ear on the side and the... Talk, talk, eat, talk, blurb. Yeah, this is either... This reminds me of something you'd see at, like, the, you know, science to teach kids yeah. about your, you know... That's what it reminded me of, too. But obviously this is, uh, it's clay. Sort of a pyramid with the uh, is sight on the other side. Yep, there's a big eyeball there. That's pretty cool. And there's some artwork on the wall. More piles of boxes and bags and who knows what. Uh, okay, this room's looking pretty full down here. A little sideboard. It needs new glass, but that's not a big deal. Well, these are kind of cool. Yeah, they they're old uh, store displays for putting gloves on or rings like that could have been in a jewelry store and you'd put the the ring on the finger or you know if you had a bracelet or something or even a glove have it holding it yeah pretty neat butter churns glass churns uh patchwork quilts and i'll have to find out from them what clothing because sometimes vintage clothing as we know can be collectible Oh, I don't know exactly how much of this they want to sell or not. You know, there's a little room hidden around the corner there. Should we go check it out? There's uh, stuff piled on it, though. Um, hang on. I'll see if I can... I don't know if I can get to that. It might be easier coming from there. Hang on. There's a room here, too. I didn't even see this was a door here. A glass knob. Let's see if I... I can't... Can I fit in here? I'm surprised there's a room in there. I don't know if I can even get my foot through. Oh, okay. I'm in. I have made it. Little pillows. Careful of the glass peel. Cool Christmas pillows. Oh yeah, there's a lot of glassware in here. A lot of old glassware. You know, 50s kind of shot glasses and what else is in here? 
Oh, look, there's just randomly like a sculpture of a head. Little wooden dude hanging out. He looks like he's worried. Leave me alone. I've been here for ages. Or actually, he looks like he's using the bathroom in the corner. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're like, hey, you done? Grandpa's not done yet. Okay. Oh my goodness. Um, desk lamps. That's um, probably had uh, smoked salmon in it at one point. So some of these, th these things are going to be collectible and desirable and others aren't, but um, I can see we're going to need an awful lot of boxes. Because all of this is going to have to get transported. These, um, these stools or these, yeah, these little stools could be quite old with the uh, uh, woven seats, woven seat cushions. Um, there's a picture that um, oh, I think it was Van Gogh did, Vincent's chair with pipe. And the chair that his pipe is sitting on is one of these woven style antique Dutch kind of chairs. Okay. Without doing, like we're just scratching the surface here today. There's tea, there's old, you know, tins, candelabras, there's clocks. It is starting to feel like a lot of stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I, I like the pot hanging from the... <laughs> oh yeah well actually those enamelware pots are pretty desirable there are lots of people who collect and buy i don't blame them enamelware amazing. you like enamelware stuff yeah, it looks, yeah. okay look there's rotisserie still in the box okay let's go check out the rest of the basement oh look ward air that's an airline that doesn't exist anymore actually there's another bag inside of it but the ward air bag is pretty cool old travel bags are kind of back in fashion now people are replicating them new to look like they're old you got it okay yeah okay. Oh, my button got caught <laughs> can you can you squeeze your way over that other, other door yeah that one over there uh through here i can go through easier maybe that. well hang on maybe I we can, can get to it from the, the other side because this basement oh well let's see if i mean maybe we can walk around that side of the wall and we don't have to open the door like maybe it doesn't go anywhere. We'll find out. We'll 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 explore. There's a door right there that we're trying to see if we can oh, yeah. access. But I think I think it does join. Okay. I peeked early. That's a nice suitcase, actually. Even this little stand that this piece of art is on. Oh look, there's stuff in the drawers. That's a nice little uh you know what that almost reminds me of, like um, an Amberola uh, gramophone stand that you put your gramophone on top of and then you put your Amberola reels in the drawers? That might be what that's for. Oh, did you find the light switch? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was watching for it to turn on here, so I was flicking it off and on. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh boy. This Get basement's pretty light. packed. <laughs> oh my goodness we have to deal with all this stuff down here i okay. mean as, as much work as it is it's kind of exciting as well it's like a treasure hunt it is a treasure hunt it so. is yeah okay let's let me get around these little barricades here oh yeah there's stuff more stuff those are kind of neat I think the family yeah, said that they cool. they were stationed in uh, Doha for a bit, and I think that's where those would be from. I kind of like the little uh, the bag that's sitting there, even with the Dominion Auto Association and the giant STP logo on it. Oh yeah, that somebody might have had that with their car paperwork in it or something at some point. Okay, so over the next few days, we basically get to start digging through all this and seeing what's in there. Um, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, well, this I can actually walk in this area. There's a little desk and computer and stuff. Oh, I like the, uh, I like the little old 40s kind of Hawaiian girl. Is she, uh, yeah, that's a dashboard. That's an early dashboard um, hula dancer. Pretty cool. If you had an old uh, surf and hot rod or something, that'd be pretty neat. Oh, some old phones. Oh, there's a bottle. I can get it out of the box. There we go. Tab. Maybe not that terribly old, but 60s, 70s, maybe. Some records. There's more records. 
Arlo Guthrie, Kenny Loggins. Okay, here's a light switch. Yep. I didn't even see him this one yet. See, look, I think this goes behind where that other door Oh, was. yeah, you're right. There's the other side of the door. But forget the door. Look at all the records. That is a lot of records. Holy cow, there's a lot of records. Oh, look. Old Christmas ornaments, the glass ones. These are all antique Christmas ornaments. What is that over here? Big giant thing of Tinker Toys. Yeah. Is that That's probably not that old because it's no. it's marked as play school. They right. used to sell those at Costco. There's a mix of new things and old in here. Like all these paintings and artwork. Um, somewhere in here, there's a whole bunch of military medals. And there's a lot of artwork. There's a lot of artwork. I'm going to get the, the uh, light turned on over here so we can see what's going on. Look at all the records. It's somewhat organized. It looks like it started off organized. Bands, female, male, um, artwork. Look, all these sort of old, um, I think those are music sheets back there. Military related stuff. I'm gonna see if I can walk over here, if I can. Oh, what's this? It's kind of a cool little thing. It's like a little wooden horse toy, I guess, that you'd run with as a kid. Kingston Trio. And certain records can be worth quite a bit of money. It will be worthwhile to go through some of the records and see what there is. I mean, our goal here is to try and get as much of this, all of this, if I can, sold or donated, but it all has to leave the house. I'm making my way through this path. Mid-century wall clock, Ingram. All sorts of other magazines. Going way back. Oh, and here's more clothes. Some fancy sort of silk looking stuff. Typewriter? No, oh, it's a portable record player. It's like a little uh, portable gramophone or electric uh, turntable from probably the 50s. Neato. Oh, a uh, Kirby vacuum, it looks like. Those things are pricey. I mean, yeah, there's jackets, bags and bags of records. There's these old cabinets down here. Where are you? God's kidney pills. Hmm. Is it full or empty? Empty. Okay. American Family Scale. Well, if my dad was here, he'd be going crazy about the records. Yeah. If my dad was still around, that is. That's actually not a bad turntable. That's a JVC quartz lock. That's a direct drive. That was a high-end, nicely balanced turntable. This, this, was, uh, this family was serious about their music at one point. Maybe we'll find some audiophile albums down here too. So it's a nice little setup. Hitachi um, amplifiers, JVC quartz lock. That's a good piece. It's helmets, meat grinders. I don't know. What's that? Um, like a collage? Yeah, with like the fortune teller. Oh, okay. Fortunes on it. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Lots of art. There's some interesting art pieces in here. Oh yeah, so I've noticed that a lot of the artworks, there's quite a few pieces that are original. Might be some family photos and stuff. Okay. Oh, I gotta turn the light off over here. Eastman Kodak. An old film can. Yeah, we'll turn that off. But this isn't it. This isn't everything. There's the upstairs, there's the bedroom, there's all this stuff in the basement. But we haven't seen, apparently, what the actual problem is, and that's the garage. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, let's go check out the garage. It's, uh, we, there's a door over here, actually. Yeah. That's a big basket. It is a big basket. Sometimes old baseball bats can be collectible, depending on whose name is on it. They would have, um... You know, certain players that they were 
associated with, like you could get um, a Lou Gehrig bat or a Babe Ruth bat, and then those would be worth a lot more than just a standard one. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Ooh. Okie dokie then. It kind of feels like a little store in here almost. Yeah, it does. Like a really packed store. And I think that's because when they started collecting, the intention was to actually buy and sell stuff. And that just didn't happen. Look, there's a strawberry shortcake lunch kit. An original one. Little silverware. Old suitcases, Jack in the Box. It's a hey, look, it's a Snoopy Jack. Oh, that's a birdcage. I'm I'm uh, I'm looking and going. Oh, look, there's an old Snoopy Jack in the Box in there. Some kind of tractor. And... Oil cans. I always have to look. Certain oil cans be pretty collectible. There is stuff all up in the ceiling too. Look, there's more old bird cages up here. That's actually really cool. Yeah, those are kind of neat. You could even use them for plants and stuff. Scooby dooby doo! Oh no. Like, hey! Yoinks! <laughs> California raisins. Oh, that would have been my lunch kit when I was in school. I had, I had, um, oh, what are those called now? Um, no, no, no. The stickers. They're, uh, <laughs> I used to collect them. Oh my goodness. I'm, it's going to come to me when I least expect it. Is but, the one that you had in the binder? Yeah, yeah. Uh, wacky packages. Oh, that's yeah. what they are. Yeah, I used to have a ton of those. There's a folk art little uh, sled up top there. Little, I'm gonna guess that there's something inside of this. Let's find out. Yep, glassware. I see they had the knob turned to stop the door from opening. If you find anything cool, let me know. Let's see, lamps, sometimes they did these. Oh, look, there's a Mr. Mr. Peanut kind of cookie jar or peanut jar over there. Again, a mix of old and new. Oh, there's the uh, Green Giant, I think. Oh, 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 Green Giant. But that's the um, that's the little guy, Sprout or whatever his name was. Got a giant potato masher. <laughs> a giant. <laughs> what was this? This rack, Sika. That's an old store display rack. People buy those. And there's some old bottles here. Let's see what there is for bottles. If this was a if this was a garage sale, I'd be able to find something in here for sure. Oh, mission beverages. Okay, it's nice when there's a few um, oddball bottles that you don't see too often. This is kind of cool. This, I don't know what kind of bag this is. Here, I'm gonna come over to where you are. Oh, there's an old rotary phone down there. Pool balls. Where are you? Oh, what? manufactured by Wells and Wade. Yeah, it's probably like a um, uh, like a seed spreading bag. You think so? Yeah, look, there's stuff over here too. Little games. What's this? Oh, old advertising sign. Merit low tar cigarettes. Woo! <laughs> Melissa hates the sound. <laughs> I've scared my woman off by the sound of that. What's this picture? Oh, that's an old. Um, uh, tobacco advertisement. It's keen cutter tobacco. There's a little radio there too. Transistor radios. This really is just a little bit of everything. Yeah. Kind of makes me wonder what else is buried in here. There's one of those little wooden stage coaches. I've seen those before. Potato gun. We sell replicas of these, but this is the type that you uh, you poke it in a potato. You ever have a potato gun, Melissa? Just a replica one. Oh, actually, this that's what this might be, but uh, it's got the good graphics on it anyway. You you stick this in a potato, it gets wedged in there, and the pressure shoots out a wedge of potato. So if you ever see your kids running around the yard with a potato and a potato gun, lots of pins and brooches. Yeah, you can see some things were priced here. I think it's been years since they've actually been able to do any sort of um, yard sale in here. Lots and lots of games. Look, the Walton's board game. The These sort of games are actually a little bit more desirable that have a show attached to it. 
Dr. Kildare, Puzzle, Kreskins. Um, those are all going to be a little bit more on the collectible side. I'm going to see if I can turn my light back on. It's getting dark over here. Where? Oh, yeah. You like the flowery bowl? Yeah. I think I'm seeing a theme with what I like. Yeah, you like all the uh, the 60s sort of fun themed. It's so much fun. And it's Spirograph. Oh, this is a, um, a cowhide doctor's bag. That's pretty cool. What's inside of it? Star Trek patterns? <laughs> if you want to make your own Star Trek outfit, there you go. That's pretty neat. But look, that's uh, you don't see doctor's bags that are a cowhide. I can't even really walk over here. Let me see if I can just point this in this direction. I have a feeling that what we're gonna have to do is just get a lot of this stuff. Oh, there's he said they wanted to keep the snow tires. It's the the one thing they wanted to keep out of this garage. I don't blame them. Okay, I'm gonna come back over to you and see what we've got going on. Are there things in the cupboard doors? Yep. Teapots. This is a uh, pretty healthy pile of stuff. Old lamps. Oh, I see a little book there. Cowboy Sam. All right. How are things over in your end of the world? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Cigar box? Close. Oh. Backgammon. Cool. That's nice. nicely inlaid. Yeah, it's really cool. You always like the board games and the fun stuff. Kitchen yeah, things. and the bowls and the planters and the cool stuff. Yep. The containers. Did you uh, crawl back over in the corner yet? A little. Do you want to go or do you um, want me to go? Hang on. Well, maybe I'll trade places with okay. you. Okay, can you wiggle past me? Okay. These little ride-on toys. That looks like another, maybe a, another portable record player. Do you want me to open it? I'm sure that's what it's going to be, judge, judging from the weight. It opens on the other oh. side. Well, I'd be here a while. That looks more 1960s kind of pattern to me. This side opens and then, yep. Silvertone, that'd be a Sears brand. Ended up picking up a Silvertone guitar the other day, and it ended up being a, a Dan Electro from the 50s that just had the Silvertone name on it. Oh, there's lots of tins. You know, all things that somebody would think, you know, would have some value as a collector's item to some degree. But when it takes over your life, it's not worth it. This looks like a um, another store display. I feel like it almost should have handcuffs or something, the way that those hands are put in there. Mid-century lamp. There's an old chair. There's a bit of furniture. That looks like a... Um, I see a pocket. Maybe there's like a little portable pool table back there. Okay. Skis. Just a pile of stuff. This is going to be a fair amount of work to sort and go through all this stuff. I don't even know. You know, I think what we're going to have to do is have a number of uh, helpers on hand to give us, you know, some assistance here. There's no way I can do this all on my own in four days. <laughs> you found wildlife. That is not the most attractive looking little thing, or is it? It's it probably would have had ears. It would have had ears. It would have been cuter if it had ears. Hello. I've been watching you all night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like in, they're really, really soft. All right. I need, I can't even get out. This is so full in here. I can't even get past you. Okay. I'm definitely ill. It's not you, it's the stuff. I know you're just little, but this place is so full. Kind of a neat little cabinet. They've got salt and pepper shaker collections in there. Well, I think this is going to be a real challenge to get this stuff out of here in four days. I'm just saying that right now. I don't know how we're going to do it.
So that's it. We have four days to clear years of collecting out of this property. Can it be done? I'm not so sure. It's going to take a real group effort to make this happen. Um, but we're going to follow this through. We're going to get the property emptied out. We're going to get the house cleaned up. We'll do the before and after. And hopefully within a couple of weeks time, we'll be able to give the family a big check and life will be back to normal for them. Well, at least a new normal anyway. So thanks for watching today's episode, guys. This is just the first walk around. You got to stay tuned and watch what we find and watch us clear out this home as we turn it from a stuffed warehouse full of things back into a livable residence for these people. Stay tuned for more adventures, guys. They'll be coming very soon. Bye for now.